How does somebody like Rihanna go from singing about umbrellas to basically being a blasphemous Jezebel? The one thing about being a Christian YouTuber is you're never gonna really run out of content because it seems like every day a different celebrity has some demonic blasphemous act that they wanna display towards Jesus Christ. Rihanna is under fire for mocking Christianity and today we're gonna cover it in detail. But before we do that, let's get into the intro. What's going on guys? It's Big Nick back for another video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel today. Before we get into today's video, if you guys like Christian content, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel down below if you are new, and turn on my post notifications so you never miss a new video. Without further ado, Let's get into it. Rihanna is under a lot of controversy after mocking Christianity in her latest magazine cover. In a collaboration with Interview Magazine, she dresses up as a provocative nun and flashes the camera while doing so. People are absolutely disgusted by this behavior and since then, Rihanna has been facing a lot of backlash for the photo shoot. It's very fascinating how many of these celebrities never disrespect these other religions, but whenever it comes to Christianity, they can't express enough how much they hate it. As Hollywood continues to only focus on blaspheming the things of Jesus Christ, the evidence continues to prove itself clear that all of these celebrities are in unity with one another when promoting demonic agendas. Like, think about it for a second. Can you imagine Rihanna dressing up in a hijab and doing the same thing? She would never, because Islam is not a threat to the kingdom of darkness. But if she did, she'd probably experience something along the lines of this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyways, let's continue. Rihanna has been very open about her ties to the occult while even throwing up an Illuminati pyramid symbol while she was performing at the Super Bowl halftime show to indicate her allegiance to Satan. This arrogant behavior is no surprise, however, because the Bible warns us in Proverbs 21, 24, mockers are proud and haughty. They act with boundless arrogance. Let's take a look at this nun post together so you can see why everybody is upset, rightfully so. As you can see here in the collaboration post that she did with Interview Magazine on Instagram, she's dressed up as a slutty nun but it gets way worse check out the video where she ends up flashing the camera in her nun outfit this is pretty weird watch at your own discretion bruh nah bruh, i rebuke that in the name of jesus christ bro get behind me devil what the heck bro look at that bro what are you doing? Like, put it away. I don't understand, like, what the obsession is with, like, flashing the camera. Like, congratulations, you have skin that has more mass than other parts of your body. Is this supposed to, like, make me attracted to you? I don't understand. Why do girls do this? <laughs> Bruh, this is absolutely satanic, bro. Like, get out of here. Get behind me, devil. I will say, though, I'm definitely here for the comment section. Check out how she's getting absolutely annihilated. Christianity gets disrespected way too openly. Facts. I'm Muslim, but I think this is very disrespectful. Wow, even the Muslims are telling you that you need to repent. <laughs> Girl, I'm an atheist. Even I was like, oh, that's not okay. She could have worn anything else. God will not be mocked. Bruh, this is such an NPC comment. There's a literal war in Gaza and y'all are worried about Rihanna. LOL, that's crazy. You can't be focused on two different things. This is so wrong. Mocking Christianity as usual. Would you mock another religion like Islam? No, so why mock Christians? Like I said earlier, because Islam is no threat to Satan's kingdom. I mean, the devil created it. So all these celebrities are really focused on is attacking the one true thing that's a threat to their master, which they call Lucifer. Okay, I'm not Christian, but that is really disrespectful. This comment section is honestly giving me hope because it seems like for the past couple of years, these celebrities in the occult have just been getting away with making fun of Christianity all the time. And like no one was really calling them out before, but now that the great awakening is upon us, like people are sick of this stuff. Bravo to all my brothers and sisters that, you know, really didn't tolerate this because this is just absolutely disgusting. We are truly living in the last days and although it looks like Hollywood is getting away with mocking Christianity, they are actually sadly storing up the wrath of God for themselves the day that they take their last breath because it's appointed for a man to die and after that the judgment. Because if they die in their sin, the only encounter that they're going to have with the Lord is when they're eternally sentenced to hell. What's really sad is before Rihanna sold her soul to the devil, she was actually raised Christian by her mom when she grew up in Barbados. Just 
Just about 12 years ago, she was openly vocal about her Christian faith on Twitter, even saying how the power of God would bring her unspeakable joy. She even mentioned how she's a fan of Joyce Meyer, who's a female Christian preacher. Now, over a decade later, after being initiated in the Hollywood occult, we see a completely different person who takes no regard for God at all. It's almost insane to see how dark this industry can turn people. No amount of fame, money, or success is worth your eternal soul going to hell. The enemy will truly use the lust of this world to entrap you and strip you of your God-given identity. Because the Rihanna that we see is not the person that God intended her to be, but rather a demonically influenced, altered identity that will do the will of Lucifer whenever he commands her to. I'm telling you, these celebrities are in such spiritual bondage, so don't even think for a second that you're missing out on the lifestyle that they have. Because the lifestyle that they have is a fat L. No materialism that they've acquired can set them free from the spiritual bondage that they often go through by being puppets of the elitist satanic class. But this proves to us that Jesus Christ is the answer. Because why would the media get so upset about one of the most beautiful stories human history has ever heard? It's because the world's demons that live inside of them constantly manifest whenever something about Jesus Christ gets brought up. But this just further proves that he's the king of kings, the lord of lords, and that the devil is already defeated. I pray that as the devil keeps trying to flex his muscles in this hour, you would realize that Jesus Christ is real and there's a reason why powerful rich people hate him so much. Because why would you hate somebody that is not real? That would be like me making videos about Santa Claus telling you guys how much I hate him, or dressing up in a Santa Claus outfit and flexing one of my pecs. I'd never do that to you guys though, because I don't want to cause anyone to stumble. Okay, I'm just kidding. I want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys made it all the way to the end of the video, I want you to comment down below, Rihanna needs Jesus, because she does. For real. If you guys want to financially support this ministry, you can do so by checking the offering link that's in the description, or you can go buy my merch, which is also in the description. I'll see you guys soon for another video. I love you guys so much. May God bless all of you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take care and peace out. Ain't a game, Jesus who I claim. Yeah, he reigns, cross up on my chain. Brand new lane, heaven my domain. The world I gain, but it ain't do a thing Ain't a game, Jesus who I claim Yeah, he reigns, cross up on my chain Brand new lane, heaven my